Extreme animal abuse tonight. A man's cat beaten to death with a hammer and then buried in a homosassa backyard. As ABC Action News reporter Jacqueline Inglace explains, deputies say the cat's owner's girlfriend is to blame. The brutality of this crime inescapable tonight for this beloved cat's owner. You can see in front of me his backyard turned into a pet cemetery. You're like son to me. Simple as that. Of all the pictures Christopher Cheatham has of his furry family members on Facebook, it's the one he doesn't have that hurts the most. This is a loss. It's a loss that's never going to be replaced. All Cheatham has left of his beloved 13-year-old tabby cat Ripper are memories. He just wasn't just, you know, good cat. He was just one of those great cats. Cheatham trusted his girlfriend, Travis Jagger, who goes by the chosen name of Tara, to watch his cats here at a Citrus County home while he was away last week. When Cheatham came back, he couldn't find Ripper, and his house had been trashed. Then he found this cryptic message. Rest in peace, Ripper, scribbled on a kitchen calendar. The date, November 27th. I asked her point blank, I said, did you kill any cats? She started to tear up and said, yeah. Cheatham was led into his own backyard to this shallow grave. It's where Jagger reportedly confessed to beating Ripper to death with a hammer because she didn't care for the cat's behavior. Then placing Ripper's body in a plastic bag and then into this PlayStation box before burying it, using a cat statue and a toy slinky as grave markers. Cheatham called police and had Jagger arrested. Karma bites when it wants to, and uh, karma's going to bite. Karma's going to get his bite. Animal control officers have been out here and did exhume Ripper's body. A necropsy is scheduled for later today to determine if this is, in fact, how he died. His owner told me that he hopes he gets the cat's body back so that he can hold a proper burial. In Homosassa, Jacqueline Inglace, ABC Action News.